Hey friends, Chris Vandeviver here from Logic Pro Expert. You know, mastering is a very important part of the process. I think we all kind of recognize that when it comes to music production, but it can feel a bit like a mystery. Immediately what comes to mind is maybe like white lab coats. And, and though it's an important part of the process, it can feel not that approachable. You know, when we've recorded and produced and edited and mixed our tracks, that could have taken hours, days, weeks, months. By the time you get to mastering, it's like, hmm, I don't wanna mess things up here. I've already spent a lot of time on this. Now, my best recommendation, and I think that's pretty much across the board for professionals, is to hire out for a mastering engineer. A mastering engineer is an objective perspective on our tracks. When we spent tons of time putting together a song, it's best to have somebody else who's not as familiar with our material as we are, not as intimately entangled with our material, so they can listen and say, is the song ready for commercial distribution? It's not necessarily a mastering engineer's job to change our mixes. It could just be thumbs up, sounds great. But more often than not, they're doing a little nip and tuck to get our tracks to a more professional standard. Now, hiring out might not be available to some of us, you know? Maybe it's just cost prohibitive, whatever. Maybe you just want to learn how to master on your own time. And though Logic comes with an amazing array of plugins for mixing and mastering, sometimes it's just easier to use something more all-in-one solution instead of bouncing around from different plugins. And that's where Isotope's Ozone 9 comes into play. Now, I personally had never paid much attention to Isotope's offerings, but now that I'm starting to pay attention, I'm starting to see, wow, there's a lot of value here in having an all-in-one solution. And there's three modules in this plugin that I just want to point out that I think are very important. Now, we mentioned that having an objective perspective, I think, is very important when mastering a track. And just by the nature of producing our own music or mixing our own music, we don't have that anymore. There's no objectivity approaching our own mix for mastering. So it's important to kind of inject or reinvigorate that objective perspective. And the best way I know how to do that is to use reference tracks. Now, these are professionally mixed and mastered tracks that kind of hang in the same genre as the music that you're mastering so that we can kind of retune our perspective for what a balanced professional track should sound like. Now, I like to use references through the whole mix process as well, but especially at the mastering stage. And with Ozone, there's a very easy option here. There's a reference tab where we can load tracks. So I'm gonna add a reference. Usually I would go to my iTunes library here. So go to media, and since this is a hip hop song, I'm gonna go find this Run the Jewels track that I like a lot. Okay, so now Ozone is going to load up this track, and now we can see the whole waveform. Now I would probably load up like three or four different references to compare against, but this one is perfect. And we can see that Ozone has identified where different sections of the song exist. So we can just select the verse or the chorus, and that section will be cycled as we compare. We can also adjust the gain slider here, which is really helpful. Even though I normalize my track here to negative three peak activity, it's still gonna be a bit quieter. And just in case Ozone has not identified where the exact start of a section is, you can actually grab these sliders, move them around. Brilliant. So now this gives us an easy way to compare and contrast. So we can click on here as we play our track, and this button will switch from our track to the reference track. Very, very helpful. I think this is key to mastering your own tracks. And I like that it's incorporated right within Ozone. Now, two other modules that I think are very, very important to the process is this codec option. Now, this module allows us to preview our mixes and masters at different bit rates. As we distribute our track and it's sent to different streaming services and different download services, there's that term lossy audio or lossy codecs. And that's because our tracks are being truncated in a way for easy delivery. Unfortunately, that truncation of different bit rates has an audible impact on our tracks. So we can actually compare and contrast our track at 320 kilobytes per second versus some of the other Kodak. So let's just turn on the Kodak module here. Hit play. Gentle, gentle soul with them soft hands, moving less signs from VHS at 96 kilobytes per second, so the other end of the spectrum. Gentle, gentle soul, with them soft hands, less signs from and it gets kind of gnarly down there. Let's solo the artifacts here. You can hear the washiness of the hi-hats. Now the last portion that I wanna point out here is the dither module. Now Logic includes dithering right within the bounce window. If I command B here, we can see dithering is applied when we bounce out. 
And we have three different options here for dithering or noise shaping dithering. But what I like about this dither option within the plugin is the visual presentation of what dithering is going to be applied to our tracks based on what we choose. Now, of course, there's the adage of mix with your ears, not with your eyes, but I find that sometimes the visual presentation can help us understand some of these abstract ideas. So we can actually choose dither based on bit rates. So 16 bit for CD, dither amount. So we can adjust low to strong and noise shaping. We can have no noise shaping. So it's just flat up to max or high. And we can actually listen to the result of the noise shaping. Gentle, gentle soul with them soft hands, wounded less signs from VHS and super helpful that there's this bit meter and the DC offset meter as well if we need it. So that's a real quick overview of three functions that I think are especially helpful for those of us in Logic who maybe don't have this easy presentation of codecs and dither or to be able to compare different reference tracks against each other, especially when we're starting to process on the stereo output of a track. You don't want to process your reference tracks by accident. So there's the reference tab within Ozone. I hope this was helpful for you. Once again, Chris Vandeviver here with Logic Pro Expert.